Hello, everyone, and welcome to Ancient Souls Awakening, where we plow through the spiritual BS so that you can actually live your destiny. We are not here. We're not a bunch of chunks of meat on this planet roaming aimlessly, okay? What we are are powerful biophotonic machines that are here to create a new reality, Ashe. And our bodies are actually chemically and ionically designed to do just that. When the ancient tradition said, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Consciousness creates reality. Reality doesn't create consciousness. Oh, that is not spiritual poppycock. So today I'm going to give you six things that happen in your body physically when you are stressed out when you are worried and when you are caught up in negative thinking because i'm going to tell you right now if you struggle to do anything struggle to rest okay struggle to rest this is why in my coaching programs the very first thing that we work on is cognitive restructuring even in my new six month coaching program where i want you to be able to learn how to make money being you you will be surprised that the first 12 weeks, we are focusing on cognitive restructuring, connection with spirit, and divination before we go into the 3D strategies. You have to understand that everything begins in the energy world before it begins in the physical world. And we have to restructure our entire bodies so that we can be able to receive the signal. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Nasaret Bawa. I am a certified, a double certified life coach. I'm also a certified yoga trainer, certified energy healer, and a hypnosis practitioner that is trained to move you past many of these strategies that I am going to be discussing today. And if you hang around, I'm going to give you three really powerful things that you can do to be able to override all of the cognitive damage that you have done in your body, all right? So let's go ahead and get started with the six ways that your body supports you in ruining your life, honey. Ruining, not giving you your love or ashe, not bringing you your money, and definitely not leading you to your destiny. And we have to stop that right away, ashe. All right, let's go. Number one. When you are worried and you are stressed out and you are continually to repeat negative thoughts and negative words, cortisol is released inside of your body. Now, why does that matter, Nasa? In addition to what we all know that cortisol creates weight gain, cortisol also affects your memory. It affects your learning abilities. You literally will have trouble learning something new, Ashe, if you are continuing to be stressed out and in negativity. Excuse me. Additionally, it's just going to make you more anxious. And who can create out of a state of anxiousness? I don't know about you, but I can't. Number two, dopamine. Negative thoughts actually really lower our dopamine. And here's the thing, this neurotransmitter is actually wired to be able to bring us joy, to be able to bring us pleasure, to give us a sense of reward. So we actually, what ends up happening is because your body really craves that natural joy and that natural pleasure. And so when you are constantly engaged in negative thoughts, you are not getting dopamine. Guess where else you get dopamine from? Sugar, candy, cakes, carbs, okay? So a lot of times you will naturally begin to lose these cravings. Um, I have lost a tremendous amount of weight, over a hundred pounds. And you know, for years and years and years, I was, you know, working out and trying all of these dots. Honey, mindfulness. When I stepped into mindfulness and ancestor work, that weight flew off me. And the only time I currently retain weight or gain weight is when I am actually stressed out and I am worried. So for all of those people that are struggling with your weight, number one, 
go on and uh, get those dopamine receptors together by tapping into joy and the good things in life. All right. Also, when you have lower states of dopamine in your body, it affects your motivation and it affects your ability to be satisfied with the beautiful life that you have. I recently heard some awful news that someone that uh, um, I know actually tried to take their life. A friend called me and told me, I was like, oh man. And a lot of that has to do with that reduced cortisol or, or increased cortisol and that reduced dopamine. All right. Here's one you might have to Google, all right? So you can learn a lot about this. And I actually learned about these neuropeptides when I read the book, Anatomy of the Spirit by Carolyn Mays. If you are new into the energy journey, go ahead and get that book. That book is really changed my life. And after reading that book, I was laid off for 18 months. I was so sick. My breasts, I had, I told y'all what my diagnosis was when I operated my destiny. And I had all of these breast cysts that had become really hard and inflamed. And when I read that book and I stopped doing uh, the things that I was doing, I went from not being able to find a job at 18 months to I had three job offers. And ultimately I landed at uh, Allstate Insurance Company, but I had one from Allstate Insurance Company. I had one from Home Depot and I had one from Wellstar. Okay. So I went from being depressed for 18 months to absolutely having three job offers that I was able to be able to choose from. And in that book, I learned about neuropeptides. Now, the neuropeptides are actually the molecules that are in your body that communicate between your brain and your body. All right. So when these neuropeptides are off balance, what happens is it affects your immune system. It affects inflammation in your body and it also increases your pain. And I don't know about you, but who can create love and wealth if your neuropeptides are communicating to your body in a negative way? We also have to remember that each molecule is actually a cell that has a DNA nucleus in it that is actually emitting out information. And so many times, esoterically, I like to think about the negative ancestors, right? The negative ancestors that weren't able to achieve their goals, that stuck into your DNA, creating imbalance. And those ancestors through the neuropeptides are communicating to your body to be inflamed, communicating to your body to be, uh, to be more susceptible to viruses and diseases. So then you're sick most of the time, you're in pain most of the time, and you cannot be able to achieve the life that you want to. Now, number four, this sucker right here, when I learned about what I'm about to tell you about in number four, oh my gosh. And I'm gonna give you a real live example of how this actually works. We have something in our brain called the RAS, that is our reticular activating system. Now, negative thoughts act at all types of thoughts actually activate the reticular activation system. And what the reticular activation system does is because you know we have so much stimuli, like literally in this room, I have trees, I have birds, I got my kitties, you know, I'm in my bedroom, I have so many stimuli that are that's happening. Well, what the reticular activating system does is it tunes all of that out and puts your focus on one thing. The reticular activating system is in charge of why when you purchase a white car, all of a sudden you see every white car or you purchase a white Nissan and now you see all of the white Nissans. It's not that everybody bought a white Nissan around the same time you did. It's that your reticular activating system is designed to focus on what you are thinking about, to erase all other stimuli so that you can be focused on what you want. So if you desire lack, 
and you are continuing to speak about how all men ain't this and all women ain't that, guess what? The reticular activating system is going to do your job for you, honey. It's going to support your brain function and your body, which means that you're going to see only the places where all of the dusties are or all of the, uh, you know, all of the city girls are, if that's not what you want. If you want a city girl, then focus on the city girls. You're going to get you a city girl. Okay. So we have to support this by thinking positively so that the reticular activating system will lead you to the books, will lead you to the videos, will lead you to the people, will open up your awareness to the things that are available to assist you. Honey, Source Energy made this biophotonic machine perfectly created to give you the life that you want. Number five, all right? Serotonin, all right? <laughs> Negative thoughts actually, again, reduce serotonin levels, the neurotransmitter crucial for mood and happiness. So when you have low serotonin levels, you actually begin to feel depressed. You actually feel unstable. You actually feel very irritated. This is why we have all of these medications out here. I myself, before I knew this science and I knew how to reverse it, I tell this story now unapologetically. I was given a bipolar disorder diagnosis and put on various medications. And actually when I started to practice some of the things I'm gonna tell you at the end of the video, the medication began to make me sick. So I actually, thank goodness, right before I was laid off, I worked with my therapist to actually get me off that medication. And I have been in remission, beloveds, since 2021. Well, 2020, actually, because that's when Allstate let, uh, laid me off. So in 2020, I have not needed any type of serot serotonin drugs or inhibitors in order to balance my mind. You know why? Because I was no longer thinking negatively. I was no longer thinking and focusing on all of the things that were bad. I was no longer stressed out at a job that I hated. I was no longer around negative people who kept me in negative mindset loops. And because of that, I no longer needed the medication. So you got to be very, very careful because we want to actually enhance our mood. And again, when we feel bad, our body is looking for that in other ways. So this is where if you can't create that serotonin, if you can't create that dopamine intrinsically by doing a couple of the strategies that I'm going to talk about, what's going to happen is you are going to look for people to activate serotonin and foods to activate that dopamine. And we have everything we need to be happy and whole on the inside. All right. Number six, adenosine. All right. So Negative thoughts increase adenosine levels, a chemical that accumulates in the brain during the day, leading to drowsiness, impaired cognitive performance, and alertness. So what does that mean? I used to have a client that I would work with all the time and she would be like, oh, I'm, you know, I can't get out of bed. You know, my joints are hurting. And I would tell her, OK, we have to work. Uh, we have to work with the body. Let's see where we're thinking negatively. Let's see where we are. And there was absolutely no connection. There was no cognitive connection to that. If you are experiencing deep fatigue, Check your mind, check your thoughts, because you are actually creating the necessary environment for you not to go out on dates, for you not to go out and meet your friends, for you not to write down those ideas. You literally are shutting down your brain. You're shutting down the main factor that you have in helping you be able to put together everything that your heart is desiring, everything that your heart is actually picking up from the electromagnetic field to be able to bring you the life that you want. So let me tell you something. Your body is intelligent. It is very smart. And you actually are cognitively, chemically, energetically, 
creating the circumstances for you to stay in cycles of learning. Now, you know, I say we either win or we learn, not lose. We don't lose on this earth, okay? We either win or we learn. And you are learning. You are going to keep yourself in a learning state instead of a mastery state if you continue to cognitively structure your body to actually be stuck, okay? So what do we do to, it, it was really, really simple. We have to operate in mindfulness. Uh, I'm going to tell you one of the worst advices that I ever received from a uh, Iowa. When I came uh, and started studying with her, I was fresh off of Buddhism and I had really created a state of inner peace. And she told me to stop meditating when my medium skills started opening up. And, I, and that is the, for all of you who have emerging medium skills, mindfulness and meditation. You have got to understand the differences of those voices in your head. But we want to practice when those negative feelings come up. They are because you have cognitively structured your body to react that way. So when they arise, we have to make a conscious shift to change it. And if you do this for 72 hours, you will begin to see the comfort in your body. You will feel better, okay? And a lot of times I try to tell everybody, do the inner work, not necessarily attached to an outcome. Do the inner work because it is going to make you feel better. You are going to be healthier. Your hair is going to grow back, okay? <laughs> Your skin going to lighten up. All of those things can happen by you being in mindfulness and awareness. Next, you have to understand that you, whenever you reframe a negative thought, you are restructuring you are releasing the good neurotransmitters and you are decreasing the negative neurotransmitters in your brain. That is going to bring you the joy, the energy, the vitality that you need in order for you to succeed. Gratitude and positivity. Let me tell you something. That is when we energetically activate and connect with a higher vibration so that we can calm the heart down. Usually that heart starts contracting whenever you are in a negative state of consciousness. And so your ability to just pause for that one second and, and just, you can do it anytime during the day. Pause when you have a when your heart is contracting, making you feel negative and you just pause. OK, what am I imagining? Oh, I'm imagining getting into an argument. Oh, I'm imagining that my day is going to be screwed up. Oh, OK, thank you. Let me go ahead and cognitively reconstruct that because all of these neurotransmitters are chemicals in the body that actually then you, it becomes a part of who you are. Right. Because you are a chemical uh, being. Right. You are a chemical in the body energetic in the spirit. So by implementing and really focusing on just those three uh, key strategies, being mindful, being an awareness, right? Actually pausing to alchemize those negative thoughts, emotional alchemy, super, super important. And then accessing gratitude. Guess what? I'm going to show you how to do that this Thursday. And there still is time for you to sign up. A matter of fact, I think my booking system shut y'all off about 48 hours. So today I'm going to spend time trying to create another link for y'all so that you can actually have to the very last minute, if so need be, for you to come in. But why would you do that? Okay. It is time to learn how to change your body scientifically. Positive thinking, gratitude is not uh it's not poppycock i was looking at um uh a video by this very famous youtuber and he was like you know positive affirmations you know that didn't work for me you know it seemed ridiculous and stupid yeah it is going to sound ridiculous and stupid too it's going to feel 
ridiculous and stupid because you are literally just imagine if you have made a chemical cocktail of a uh, low dopamine low serotonin high cortisol high ad adenosine when you flip the script your body is going to go in a oh Oh, I'm going to talk about, I know I keep saying, I'm going to talk about ascension sickness, but you just keep going, to, uh, you keep going into these negative states of consciousness. And that is how you continue to create the reality that you do not want. If, no, not if, everybody does. But if you have a urge to step into your calling and your neurotransmitters, you have cognitively wired them to keep you stuck, I need you to join Unveil Your Path Academy. Many of us, all of us really, but many of us, not only do we have a calling, but we have a calling to serve on a greater level. And there is a pathway. We have to recode our consciousness. We have to work with the unelevated ancestors. We have to have a way to talk to source energy and have our intuitive powers enhanced before we even think about a business plan. Because everything starts in the ether before it starts in the physical. And if you want to work with me, I would love to have you. Um, that's it for today. All right. You guys have a beautiful, wonderful day. Join me at nasabawa.com and also nasa at nasabawa.com. If you want to email me, I hopefully you know that you were made for a greater life and it starts from the inside out. Have a blessed and wonderful day. Ashe, ashe, and ashe, yo.